Hey everyone, today's video is going to be on some old vintage items for a first aid kit. Came in this box I got today. There's a few items here. And they date back pretty old. Here we have some antiseptic swabs. And if you look at the expiration date on here, there it is. December 1988, so they're pretty old. So, let's see how that works. Oh, look, it's still wet, so I don't see why it wouldn't work. Hmm. Uh, let's try it. I have a blister there. I don't think it's working. Isn't that kind of stuff supposed to burn like alcohol? Yeah, I think the alcohol evaporated from it. No, I, I can feel a little bit of a burn, but it should be a lot stronger than that. I got that blister today from using a chainsaw too much. Here's an old gauze pad. Yeah, the vibration of a chainsaw, if you use it too much and you're not wearing gloves, that can happen. Made in Canada. Large patch bandage. Here's another kind of bandage. Ouchless. In USA. Let's open that up. Is it still sticky or? It's really sticking to the package. Is that even what that is? Keeps the wound dry. I'm not sure. I, I've never actually used something like this. So is it something you put on yourself then you wrap it around? I don't, I'm not sure what that's for. This here is Antibiotic ointment. Let's see if you can zoom in on that really small writing. That expired in 1990. Just so you know, stuff like rubbing alcohol does not go bad. But it obviously got out. Now, this is an actual alcohol swab. It actually says alcohol. I'm going to try that now, see if that burns or if it evaporated from the container. Let's see, when did that expire? It's not an expiration date, is it? Nope. It's another identical one. They don't have expiration dates, but I know they're at least 1990 or older. Let's see. This one's still very wet. Yep, yep, that is super strong. Alcohol didn't get out of that one, so that one will do me well. Alcohol doesn't expire. That's burning real bad, but it's cleaning out whatever's in there. Yep, that's burning a lot. Next thing is a... Small strip bandage. Made in Canada. A lot of the stuff's made in Canada. There's another one of them. Another one. This here is a sterile cotton tip. 
package is sterile if not opened. What is that inside of there? It's made out of, is that either metal or wood? Can't tell, I don't want to break it. Another swab. You know what? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe this is not supposed to be like alcohol where it burns. It's it's probably like hydrogen peroxide or something that doesn't burn. This here is an extra large fingertip bandage. Also made in Canada. Okay, what is this? It's liquid in there. Moisturizing hand and body lotion. Does that have an expiration date on it? Nope. Not that I can see. Another one of them. Okay, what is this? Medium size. Johnson and Johnson. Next thing is called cold caplets. Multi symptom. Tamper resistant. Do not use if torn or cut. If you're noticing if that my hands are dirty or anything, it's because I've been touching very old dusty items all day going through stuff that expired in 1989 let's get this back into the box except the ones I opened we'll put that back away in storage keep that so I bought this today at somebody's estate sale in their basement I probably didn't even know it was down there. Got all that old stuff for only 50 cents. Thanks for watching.